somebody. Welcome back with Cooking with Nana. Um, Muni Crazy teach you guys how to do um, bake the eggs. Hola, Kai Kaipin. So Kaipin for me is um, five dozen. So that's 60 in here. And then um, I would have um, black pepper, MSG, salt, sugar, and I would have this called a thin soy sauce, um, so siu kao um, would be thin soy sauce, this kind. You can use any kind you want on um, kai ping, um, you, any kind of thin soy sauce that you want. But I like to use this, mostly I use this kind of, this brand a lot. And then oyster sauce. So oyster sauce um, is an option. If you want to put in, you can. I'm going to show you, I, I put a little bit to bring a little bit flavor to my kai bean. And that's me, just kidding. This is what my daughters think that, that I look like her in the picture. And then um, this is the eggs that I, that I um, crack already. So I'm going to show you how I do my cracking eggs. So you can get an eggs, just tap on tip of it. You see how it cracks right here? Then you just use your fingernail tip. Just go through into it. It's okay. It's it's a big hole and stuff. After you've done that, you just pour it in here. You use one of the. You can use toothpick or um, this stick, the kebab stick. Just twist it, so it comes out easy. Make sure you got all the eggs out. So, and then you just set it on the side. And then this is what I am gonna do next. I am gonna mix the ingredients. I'm gonna use a half, let's use half tablespoon of salt first. And then MSG, if you want MSG, you can put MSG. If you don't want MSG in it, you don't have to, but I'm just going to use another half of tablespoon. And then my black pepper, I am going to use um, one tablespoon because I like a little bit of pepper in it. And then my sugar, I'm going to use a half tablespoon. Okay. And I'm gonna make this all ingredients together. And then my thin soy sauce, I'm gonna use one tablespoon. one tablespoon instead of you don't want to use um, the thin soy sauce and oyster sauce you can have just this on, um, in the eggs already so since you don't like soy sauce or oyster sauce just mix all those dry ingredients together and we're going to pour it in but then I used to try um, put in a little bit oyster sauce and thin soy sauce just to kick a little bit, a little bit flavor so I'm going to use one tablespoon and my oyster sauce, I'm going to use the same thing, one tablespoon also first. Then I'm going to mix all my eggs together. Then I'm going to um, taste it, like microwave it, and see how, if I want to add more season to it, I can add more season to it. So, I would mix this. Mix it in my eggs. Then use, 
You can use your fork to um, mix your eggs together. Or you can use a, what this would call, a whisk or, or the mixing machine. So I'm going to use the mixing machine. Put it in. mix it up so it should be all smooth and then set this on the side then this is what it should be look like and then it's all mixed all the ingredients so I'm gonna microwave it to taste of the I'm gonna taste it a little bit to see how um, I want the eggs so I microwave it for 30 seconds, 30 seconds or to 45, 45, second. 40, 45 seconds. So this is how you, then all you do just taste it. If you think it's jang, if you want it a little bit more flavor, you just add all the ingredients in. So let me see, let me get my camera to taste it. See if it's okay. Okay, well he says it's okay, but if you want to add more ingredients, you can, but then I'm, I'm happy with my black pepper. You can taste the um, black pepper in it. So the rest, this is how I refill my eggs. I use my measuring cup. It's easy to use. A lot of people use um, the oyster, um, the turkey, um, those long sucker juice thing but I use this it's more easier oh don't forget to preheat your oven for while well, my oven only the lowest it goes to 170 so um, you can start like 150 to 170 because you don't want to over um, over turn your heat um, your oven high because you want the um, eggs to bake slowly because if you make it up too high, it's, it's going to burst the eggs. So you're going to keep filling this up. You don't have to fill it all the way up because it's going to rise. So this is how it would be. And I use this um, eggs holder to bake in it. A lot of people use their um, the cupcake and put on top of it. I don't do that. This does not burn. Trust me, it will not burn in the oven. So you're gonna keep continue to do this, and then it takes a long time to bake. We're gonna bake like two hours, but then like hour and a half, I will I will um open, check it and um like kind of turn side to side to make it bake evenly. So this is all you have to do. So I. We um, fill my egg, so this is my last one. So I'm just gonna pour it in. Okay, so if it's left over, that's fine. You can just cook it the leftover and then or oh, microwave this. Remember, um, so this is what I would have. So I would put this in the oven. My oven is on for 170. That's the lowest I can go on. So I refill the eggs back in the shell. So I'm gonna put it in my oven and let it bake. Let's see. Make it fit. If not, you can put it in the bottom of the rack, but I'm trying to make it fit. So I it's in there, let it bake for an hour and a half, check it out, and then if it's not cooked, then we're going to let it cook another 30 minutes, because um, probably I will turn up my oven a little bit higher, but I just let it start 170 first. Let it cook um, an hour, 
I let it be in the oven hour. I came and checked, so I'm gonna um, turn up my ovens to two and bake another another hour and see how it's gonna be. And it's depend of your oven too. So I'm gonna. So I turn it off. It's been hour. So I just poke to check if it's cooked with the stick. So when it's clear, smooth, then it cooks. I'm gonna take it out. Oven, and this is how the kaiping would look like. You just let it sit, let it cool, and then, but I will show you how it looks like, the inside. It doesn't stink. It's, you can smell all that black peppers and all that ingredients, but it's not You just want it to sit because it's still hot. So this is how my kaiping would look like. And I will cut in half. And it would be like this. And you can eat plain by itself or, you know, it's just like an appetizer. And then you can eat with sauce. The sauce I would have with the Jiao Ban, um, sweet sauce, and then I would have um, another kind, the Me Ploy, um sweet chili sauce, that is this one, and homemade um, Jiao Ban. So um, you can dip it in and taste it. Mm. It's so good. And then you can eat with another this sauce that's how you do um kai um kai bing. this is how you eat it and this is how much of my fin map see and it will turn out like this so i hope you enjoy my kai bing video and please try it you can do this with your kid you know and it's fun with and and you can do this for, you know, birthday, any party. Um, you can do it for Easter, you know. So please try it and enjoy the kite being. And I hope you try it out. And if you do, please post on Cooking with Nana page. And let me know how it is. And Kop Jai La Lai Ma Bung Video. And Tana Pokhao Jok and Mai La Gon.